designs. I hate the designs. I really do. Like, there's just nothing going on. Like, okay, cool starter designs. Greninja, he's a freaking frog ninja. That's cool. He's got a, his, cool. his tongue is like a scarf. They it's tried awesome. the frog thing twice, and that's what happened. That's where they went wrong. That's, that's the they, problem, yeah. Yeah, they, they went for the frog thing twice. Ooh, okay. Yeah, well, then, then again, I, I feel like, well, actually, never mind. I was going to say, like, every water starter is, like, some kind of, uh, some kind of, like, Reptile or amphibian, but no, that's actually just not true because Samurai exists, and so does uh, Empoleon. I'm dumb. Anyway, let's do our jobs. Uh, we got Goat versus Peridot here, and this is gonna be a, a high tempo matchup. It's gonna be Roy versus Young Link. And uh, Emily, I don't know if you know about this, but Roy, you heard of Jair, right? Never. Explain to me what okay. a Jair is later. Jab back air. Uh, oh. Everyone in the state knows that, and I'll tell you why. That that terminology and that kill confirm was actually founded in the great state of Arizona. Wow, amazing. Today I learned. Today yes. in Smash. Well, so far, Paradox doing such a great job of zoning Goat back onto that platform. It felt like Goat really couldn't land on that one. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be real. That's the thing about you know every character, every player actually has like their one thing like that that makes them unique. That their baby, as, as you were. <laughs> I think it's those tech chases with down air on the platform for Paradox. Paradox is so good at hitting exclusively that, as well as that uh, that little combo at the ledge that they like to do with the drag down forward air. Yeah, no, looking good so far. Goat really just trying to find their way in. Roy for me is one of those characters that you really kind of have to like stay playing for a long time. That wet pool noodle, like when you get those kind of like sad hitboxes and like you know that you know your bear doesn't take you that far, it's just really sad. It's just such an inconsistent character for me. Uh, when Young Link is a very consistent character, we know when a fair is gonna hit off stage that it's gonna that it's gonna, you know do a lot of damage or KO, so really want to see how Goat's going to be able to fire back because they just got lapped on this stock layer. It's not looking too good. Right, but then again, Rage Roy is a hell of a drug that Uptilt's going to be killing with a sweet spot only at 109% too. And right now, if Goat can just get like a, a side B at 60% at the ledge, they could be getting rid of this stock. But then again, Boomerang 2 forward air is going to be the kill confirm of choice there for Paradox. Paradox comes down with that bomb. And it's gonna parry the first hit of the up smash, but not the rest of it. Yeah. I feel like sometimes you can only, like, parry the first hit of a move, especially like that. Especially because, uh, Roy up, like, up smash has a little bit of a in my opinion. Uh, I like the up out of shield, though, from both. Getting a little bit more comfortable, gonna be able to jump through that entire bomb arrow animation. Throws out the counter a little early, but I think they have the right idea. That's good data. Yeah, then again, when, when we saw Peridot play against... Oh no, what's his name? It was uh, El Camparki. Yeah, there you go. I don't go. know why I said it with the accent. El Camparki, the Joker. They are very good at sniffing out counters and Rebels guards in general. So, honestly, I think countering against this dude is not a very wise decision. Alright, bomb toss goes up here. I feel like Paradox was trying to cheese something out, but speaking of cheese, that right side B almost KOs in the center of the stage here. Peridot gonna be able to fair one into back row, looks for the Nair, not gonna be able to find anything, but they still have stage control until Goat says, hey, Roy F-Tilt with a little bit of rage on them. Yep, it's a scary thing, and, and now you got Rage Roy yet again, and if there's any character that can make comebacks, it's this character. I mean, look at that, going up in the sky with that side B, but it will not be enough to start a combo that Nair is gonna be the combo breaker for Peridot. Peridot right now looking for anything, Ooh. and yep, there is that no tech down smash. Peridot's so good at hitting that too. Yeah, for sure. And you gotta hit your techs. Uh, Smash commentary, guys. You gotta hit your text, especially versus a character like Young Link, especially with a lot of rage on it, too. Uh, this is just unfortunate because they definitely could have rolled out and at least had time to shield, but let's watch this one more time. I'm gonna watch this. So, yeah, look there. At that. Yeah, if they had rolled out, yeah. I think they would have been okay. Oh my gosh. Wait, I just realized Young Link's head's like the size of Roy's torso. Well, That's it terrifying. is Young Link. Oh, excuse me, Young Link. It's Young it's Link. I, isn't, isn't Young Link canonically like seven at the start of Ocarina yeah. of Time? Or no, like 10 or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. Well, why is his head so big? All right, well, 
Today I'm learning so much, Laird. <laughs> I'm already liking the FD pick for uh, game two. They're playing a lot more aggressively. I feel like Goat's getting a lot more of the hits that they need. Yep. Ooh, okay. So, couple, couple. Oh. Rab's going out. Jeez, brutal. There comes oh, he's the dead. Blade. Yeah, no. Yeah, definitely wasn't dead. <laughs> I just, I, 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 I gripped and ripped for that to actually connect because of how weird the up is there for young ones but not not dead yet nice spot wow a lot of spot dodge coming out for both players and it is going to be Peridot who wins out in the end Peridot with a nice z drop bomb but Goat's going to pick it up and throw it right back out of and they've been holding a pretty consistent lead for a while now but then again back air one into up smash what a kill confirm yeah, the classic, honestly, for a lot of younglings. Uh, but I do like how much more aggressive Goat is able to play this round. It feels like he's really doing a really great job of closing all of the space uh, that he's looking for. But speaking about closing space, back air to up air twice. Peridot, I'm loving these strings here, Laird. They're so creative. Peridot's at the level with their character that they can just kind of string to whatever they want together. And ultimately, they're good enough to make it work. And frankly, it is it is awe-inspiring to say the very least. They're doing a good job of fading back, hitting their hitting their projectiles. And you know, anytime they get a straight hit, they're really good at just going at it, taking up space whenever they have the ability to, fading back when they want to and and need to. And frankly, this bend not break style of gameplay is probably why they're at such a devastating lead right now. Alright, once again, we hit Nair, finds the strong hit on the fair though. Great F smash. Not gonna be able to take it quite yet. Throws themselves off. Trying to hit anything here. Great roll back to like ensure pop proper spacing. Gonna be able to find it. Go able to take this right back, but I don't know. I'm kind of worried about some of the strings that Peridot has been hitting because they have been fantastic. Yeah, Peridot. So good. But then again, yeah, you give a royal lead, they can take it a long way. Then again, Peridot, so good at hitting that no tech off of the Nair and then getting the follow-ups afterwards. What? Bomb. And yep. So good. Bomb coming in also kind of clutch there too. Looking for anything though. Gonna be able to read the roll in with the hero spin. Oh my god. I think Peridot learned from the first time that uh, Goat definitely likes to F smash a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, well, then again, can you blame them? Roy's F smash is one of the strongest in the whole game, particularly in that sweet spot near the hilt of the sword. And as particularly at the ledge too. I mean, I feel like that's a dead Peridot if they get hit by that too. Okay, great back air from Peridot here. Once again, a lot of these landing nares are also messing Goat up a little bit too. Ooh, looking for another one. Gonna be able to find something. I'm hoping that Peridot doesn't go for the grab here because you know Goat is just looking for one strong hit. Another one of those could be a great air dodge from Peridot, but oh, oh my god, the backspin hit doesn't actually take it. That's so unfortunate. I have seen tournaments won and lost by that up B. And that was not one of those instances, but there's the forward throw. Is that going to do it? That kick is very strong, but not quite enough. That <laughs> forward tilt will be the thing to do it, though. What a catch. Sometimes, my good friends back at home trying to take notes here, it is wiser to go to ledge as opposed to going on top of a young link when they are ledge trapping you. Yeah, for sure. It also seems like uh, odds were kind of stacked against, you know, the good kind of uh, kick up, kick line. And then notice how he's just waiting there for Goat to kind of choose. And it didn't look like they were coming down with an option just quite yet. I feel like sometimes a lot of Ultimate players, they burn their jump off stage when a lot of the times they just have to take a quick breath and then just recover safely. So we're going back to FD, which I do agree with. But what do you think Goat should be doing just a little bit better layered on this one? Honestly, I can't give any definitive answers to that yet, Lyric. I think they're doing a good job in their own right. I think they're just whiffing a little bit too much. They're getting a little bit antsy trying to amplify this tempo uh, of their own design and try to make Peridot, you know, crack under the pressure. Peridot hasn't been... Peridot finally cracked under the pressure, and frankly, I think Goat might need to keep this tempo up. Yeah, no, for sure. That's one thing that Goat could be doing now is just keep the tempo. Uh, I really want to see a couple more, like, Nairs coming out from Go2. A lot of the shield pressure that I'm talking about, or I was about to talk about, we're seeing Go2 now. He can easily take this second stock too. 70% gonna give you a fair share amount of rage, but Peridot wants to bring this stock count back to even. 
Yeah, okay, and you nice know, if there. anyone can do it, it is it is Peridot Lyric. Look at that pressure, that patience at the ledge. If they full hop forward air, they probably would have ended up taking out that stock, but was not able to. And now the pressure is so good from Goat. They're going to delay their side piece just enough to deal a lot of shield pressure. But they're going to drop out before they can get punished for it. And there is the F tilt again. That's the thing that took that last game. He's going to take that first stock too. All right, looking for anything. All right, once again, my my qualm with Roy. Some of those some of those weak hit fares they just hurt. Once again, kind of inconsistent. Uh, but what also hurts is SDs as well. Unfortunately, from Paradox, just doesn't seem like their game right now. No, it doesn't. But then again, they gave themselves a lead of of two games to zero. I think they're they're okay. They know what they need to do long term. Doesn't stop them from trying right now. My God. Look at this pressure, 45% already, and climbing. They're going for more. Nice spot dodge through the side B lyric. There are some cojones on this young man. Yeah, for sure. Goat, though, keeping a really great distance, but once again, these bomb arrows from Peridot are looking really good. Goes for the fair, but Goat gonna- Oh my god, the mix! Jeez. Jab yeah, one, no, jab two, into B reverse boomerang, into up air. What a play. Definitely, like, wailing on that controller. You know that that controller is sweaty. I don't. I think they're just using a. Uh, they're using a Guitar Hero controller at this rate. I mean, they're sweaty. <laughs> oh, that's a shield break. Uh oh. No, the bomb didn't save them. No. That was. Don't. I. I enjoyed that. No. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Just came in the room. Or just came in the room for a second. Hang on. I gotta tell him I can't play right now. Yeah, Lyric, I, so here's the thing about, take, take a look at this replay here too. Yeah. So he's holding bomb. Shield break, when you, before you land, you have iframes. Right. Now iframes stop the bomb from getting Paradot out of the, out of the uh, stunned animation. Which is so unfortunate. Unfortunate That's for cool. one, but lucky for another. Once again, we got True. to see a full, char full charge B. Which I love personally because once again we rarely see those ever hit. So yeah. going back to Yoshi's, which I I just can't believe y'all have this legal over there. But you know, I mean, it is across the country from us technically. So Yoshi's gonna be the pick. What do you think, of, think about this pick, particularly for Roy? Uh, well, Roy can kill him very well. I'm just saying because oh my god, those horizontal blast zones are really really yep. close to the stage. And I think this, that verticality is going to help a lot too, Lear. Okay, strong hit there, not going to be able to do anything. Once again, the inconsistency of, of Roy, but great on code to be able to pick up the combo right where they left off. Was that a zero to death? Can we call that like a zero to two or something like that? Uh, two to death. Two I, don't, to death. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> a zero to two is like half a jab, Lyric. Half a jab. got half a jab. It's not, not, not all that impressive. <laughs> Here we go. I love these of these out of shield though, because Peridot shows yeah. really great aggression. And one way to stop the aggression here is just being able to punish it with a great out of shield move. And so far, go once again laughing Peridot here, looking so so comfortable. Now there's one thing about about that oh upbeat that is really cool. That was so Goblin good. actually it's so yeah, that those are the uh, patented youngling combos. That uppy is actually super good because it has super armor on it. And I've been seeing Goblin trying to use that move a lot more effectively as well. Look at that! Four back ears in a row, 36% off of just that one little whip initially. Alright, dancing blade not gonna be able to take it, but the up B is gonna put some percentage and knockback on him. Well going for the up tilt, I actually think that would have done something, but finds a hero spin on the ground into the up air. For anything else, down throw. Ooh, okay, great spot oh. from Goat! And we're talking about missed techs earlier. I actually think Paradox missed the tech there, too. Yeah, they did. Uh, well spotted there, Lyric. Honestly, some people think getting the weak hit of Jab is not necessarily a great thing. Unironically, that was the only reason that thing ended up killing there in that last hit of that uh, stock. And going for a couple jabs on shield here, looking for anything. Ooh, okay. I like the spot dodges now two from Goat as well. I feel like they're really picking up their pace. The jump was a little early, but that platform was there to save them. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, the foot Oh! I Who I said this it. character doesn't have a spike? Not me. <laughs> we got a footstool. It's the next best thing. 
bomb unfortunately blows up the hands. Don't looking for something, but oh my god, was trying to end their life there. I like that fade back though. They, they, they recognize it was coming. They're like, I'm gonna avoid it. I'm just gonna be good. I was a little bit early on that neutral B, but you know, it was okay. I like the attempt anyway from Go. Go showing that they could still swing. Paradot though just needs one good opening. And it's an even good opening. Yeah, it's true. Speaking of swinging, going to the side B on the on the shield here. And speaking of shields, Paradox doesn't oh, have shit. much of one of those left. You want to make sure you avoid the ending of the last game here. In there, once again, all right, great dash attack. Yeah, great dash tech clears the way. Uppy is gonna put them back in center, but they are at a hundred and something percent. 120 now after that side B. Near the corner, side B will be killing. Paradox gonna take center back though. Gonna go for a low angle boomerang, but it doesn't even matter. Jer from center is gonna take that game number four here. And now all of a sudden we're looking at an even set, despite the fact that our main man Paradox got off to a very strong start. Yeah, for sure. I think it's Goat just reacting a little bit better out of shield to a lot of these things too. Definitely punishing Paradot's aggression as well with a lot of those up out of shield. They're definitely stacking on a little bit more percent. Um, we saw this earlier, but you know, missed techs from both sides are just gonna kind of even up the playing field as well. So I think we're going back, which I'm definitely not opposed to, but I really want to see once again. Oh, we're going to Kalos? Oh. I have some opinions well, about Kalos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I Lyric, I would love nothing more right now than to hear your opinions about Kalos. I don't know. I This stage is so polarizing. Um, I know for characters like Young Blaine characters that set up really well, like Samus and Zelda, you know, we're not biased or anything. They love a stage like this. I mean, look, you're, you're so far behind. You can back up and go right to a platform, but not if a Roy dancing blade goes right in your mouth, too. Jeez. They're really swinging on each other. I feel like Paradox trying to back up and create some space, but Goat is literally just following them wherever they can go. Yeah, talking about the physics of the stage a little bit more, those horizontal blast zones are fairly close to the ledge, so Roy can get a lot of shenanigans here as well. That ceiling's a little bit smaller, or excuse me, a little bit bigger, so it's a lot harder to kill off the top, but both these characters like to kill off the side generally anyway, so I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal for any either way that horizontal blast zone's going to help them out, and pretty much be all the help they need. Right, hero spin down into the up air, of course, but the side B comes in. The dancing plate for the goat. That's gonna put them up, but great DI to not get extended by the nair there. Paradox gonna run off there, but I can't say that was the best option because now you just gave goat stage advantage here. And unfortunately, none of those nairs coming out and hitting, you know, the way that they want to. But here we go. Paradox, unfortunately, losing stage control. Yeah, and they're pushing the corner again. Ah, Goat lost their own stage control, but the nice high recovery is going to give them a little bit of time to get back on, deal a little bit of extra damage with that up air. This actually credit is starting to climb very high. Reads that roll out perfectly. The patience that Paradox brings to the table is quite potent, and it has netted them a lot of powerful stocks. All right, here is Finn on the ground once again. Looking for anything. Once again, this is going to be that polarizing part of Kalos where Paradox really just going to be able to try and find their space. Boomerang going to be able to come back. Doesn't get a hit, but there's that bomb arrow. Ooh, oh what? my the god. Boomerang Gorgeous. extension. That was beautiful. Yeah. Gosh, watching watching Paradox play is like watching a martial artist perform a kata. It is just pure movement, pure poetry, and motion. Wow, that was a really great stream from Teradot. Once again, just having so much, like, room on the stage. But we're missing our techs left and right here, Laird. That almost KO'd. Yeah, th th thank God this is Arizona, not Texas, because tech is literally in the name of that state, not in this one, though. <laughs> All right, Boomerang comes in with a hit. Unfortunately, not going to be able to come through either. You're going to hold the shields a little bit, too. Goat has to be very, very careful. Unfortunately, strong hit back air not there either. Okay, this is huge for Paradox. Was that fair one down tilt? Jeez. I think it was, yeah. Again, we, we've been seeing a lot of those, but we weren't able to get anything afterwards. Side B will not kill, not quite in the speed spot. I like the high recovery route taken by Paradot, though. We're back off stage. And Ooh. yeah, a little bit too far away from the ledge. And the Roy fire for, I don't think I actually don't know what that was called. It's gonna, it's gonna kill. And now we're on last stop. <laughs> All right, Nair exchanges there. Paradox only sitting at 6%. We know what this person can do off of Confirms and gonna be able to find it. Paradox losing, losing a little bit of grip halfway through the set, but gonna be able to take back control. I think the stage really came into play here.